Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X and today I have something new for you guys. Now, I know in the past the main games I played was Dragon Ball Z, One Piece and stuff like that, but today's video is going to be something different. I'm going to be playing Blue Dragon to pay homage to um, Akira Toriyama. He's not dead or anything, but I grew up on this game and I really liked it. Well, I really enjoyed it, so I thought, okay, I'll... It's on sale for like $7 on the Xbox One Marketplace, so why not? It's a fun RPG game that I believe was way ahead of its time in terms of graphics and um, mechanics. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this game and I'm going to play it again because as a kid, I didn't really understand it, but I still enjoyed it for the simple fact I watched the anime. So I thought that was cool that they had a game for something that I watched along with stuff like, you know... Um, they always gonna have a Dragon Ball Z game, but they didn't always have stuff for One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. But moving on from that, today's video is just gonna be an introduction to the series and pretty much to inform you guys on who created the game, when it came out, and stuff like that. With the gameplay of the first mission playing in the background, and so I'm gonna give you. It's gonna be pretty much a walkthrough of the game while I um I tell you guys what's what. So let's get into it. Alright, for many of you guys who may not know or may be too young to know, Blue Dragon is a console role-playing game developed by Mist Walkers and Art Tunes and distributed by Microsoft Game Studios exclusively for the Xbox 360. Now, there was a part two of this game. I don't know if it was released on Xbox in America or not, but there was a part two of this game that I never got a chance to play. But this game is a three-disc game, and this is way back in 2006. So that's huge. Now, continuing with um, my notes. Blue Dragon is based on a design by Fan Final Fantasy series creator um, Hironobu and Hirano Hironobu 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 and um, Saka Sakaguchi Sakaguchi. Yeah, there we go. Who also supervised development and wrote the plot. The game was released in Japan on December 7, 2006, and Europe on August 24, 2007, and in America August 28, 2007. Now, this game came out shortly after my birthday, so it was like mind blowing to see it on, on shelves, like literally five days after my birthday, so I had to get it. Like I said, I was watching the anime at the time as well, so it was just like, holy crap, I watched this. It's out on, a, on my 360. I want it. So I made sure I caught that game when it came out and everything. Now, Blue Dragon follows the story of five friends. In the beginning, there's only three. The first three is Shu, Jiro, and Kalu. But the other two is Zola and Marumero. Mar Maru 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 Maru. Oh, yeah, Japan. As they travel the world to confront the evil king, evil king of the Grand Kingdom, Nini. I just call him Nee because Nini nee is what I call my aunt, and it'd it just be weird to call my aunt that ugly, sinister looking creature. But continuing, the setting inspired separate anime and the manga adaptations. Although these follow the story to different degrees, the features feature a different cast of characters. The game follows a traditional role playing design based around exploration and turn based combat with, <clears throat> with turn speed modified by player's agility. Now, like I said, growing up, I didn't quite understand the different features and aspects of the games. I had played Kingdom Hearts, which was a role-playing game. Um, I had played Final Fantasy, which was a role-playing game. But I, at the time when I played Final Fantasy, I had a Game Shark, which was pretty much like a hack for like any game. And so I wasn't playing it like naturally. And this was back before, like I said, I, I even under before I even understood the actual mechanics of these games. So I was. I just played them for fun. I, I didn't I didn't play them for like the thrill or I, I didn't understand the actual concept of a role playing game back then. But now things are totally different. I actually understand it. And um, I like I like role playing games and I have no problem with turn based role playing games, hence why I rebought this game. Now continuing. Blue Dragon is the first Xbox 360 title to make use of three discs. Now that is huge. That is huge. Back then, Xbox 360 games were probably like 2 gigabytes at the most if you installed them. This game was a whopping 20 gigs. 
20 gigs that was literally like the most amount of space we had back then when this game came out so that is absolutely phenomenal i mean i know they had a 120 gig hard drive and stuff like that but seriously most people just got the cheapest xbox they can get which was the rk which didn't come with a 120 gigabyte hard drive but either way that is mm -hmm. that says a lot about the um the detail put into this game and in the salt and like um how expansive it is how huge of a game it is so you you can tell in a sense it was a it was ahead of its time in all honesty it was ahead of its time even looking at the graphics now i'm just like yo even to this day these graphics are beautiful and this game literally came out what 10 years ago it's it's it's, it's mind-blowing but continue um it was also the longest xbox 360 game until lost odyssey was released with a story spanning four disc now see i never played lost odyssey but that that sound like a very time consuming game especially if you had four discs versus the three that this game had i, I know I had this game was time consuming because i actually never beat it anyway continue overall the game has received a positive reception with an average score of 77 percent on reviews um why, why does it do this it cuts off like part of my notes anyway whatever blue dragon was dude seriously Anyway, Blue Dragon was applauded and criticized for his excellent adaptation of traditional elements of a role-playing game in Japan. Blue Dragon's Blue Dragon was both was God damn it was both um both a standalone game and a bundle with the Xbox 360, including the game with the Xbox 360 faceplate. Now, back then at that time, I don't know too many games that actually had a faceplate included with the game. But again, this game was huge. Three disc in 2006 was like pretty much non-existent. I honestly think the first two disc game I ever bought, like, per, well, well, the my yeah, my first two disc game I ever bought was GTA and then Halo 4. But those are way after this, so. You would think it, it'd take more space, and you'd think the graphics would be upgraded to a point where you need multiple discs. And even then, those are about the only games that I know of, or well, that I've owned, that was two discs. Um, so overall, these this game was ahead of its time, in my opinion. And if you're a fan of role-playing games, if you're, if you're a fan of Akira Toriyama's artwork, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy-style game, role-playing games, and if you just really want a lax, laid-back, chill game to play that will keep you busy for a long time, I highly recommend this game. So, without further ado, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in Episodes 2, where we'll actually talk more about the characters and stuff like that. So, I know it's been a while, and I'm extremely sorry for that, you guys, but I've been having a lot of issues with software, so that's literally been my huge hold-up. And, um... I know there's going to be a, a, a couple of spots in the video where the, the the game actually jitters or shudders, I guess you could say. It like a flickering like effect, but I guarantee you in episode 2 that will be corrected, so you will not have to worry about that. That much, I promise. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think. And as always, it is your boy Joker850X, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.